from Hollywood, it's the Dennis Day Show. Yes, it's the Dennis Day Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood, with George Weil in the orchestra and Dennis' special guests, Vera Allen and Johnny Mercer. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Dennis Day! The moon belongs to everyone The best things in life are free The stars belong to everyone They gleam there for you and me The flowers in spring The robins that sing The sunbeams that shine They're yours, they're mine And love can come to everyone The best things in life are free The flowers in spring The robins that sing The sunbeams that shine They're yours, they're mine And love can come to everyone The best things in life are free Ladies and gentlemen, music and song play a pretty important part on this show And if it weren't for the songwriters, my program might sound something like this and here he is, the star of our show, Dennis Day. Thank you, folks, and good night. <laughs> so that's why I thought it might be interesting for you to meet one of the men who makes any musical show possible, one of America's top songwriters, that pixie from Dixie, Mr. Johnny Mercer. Thank you, Dennis. I'm very grateful for that introduction. Well, you deserve it, Johnny. After all, you've been pounding the piano and the typewriter for over 20 years, banging out music and lyrics that have become hit after hit. Say, Johnny, would you mind letting me have a look at those talent-loaded fingers of yours? Not at all. Here. Well, what do you know? Dr. Scholl's foot pads on your fingertips. <laughs> well, without them, my songs would have been awful corny. Dennis... <laughs> Are you sure your writers made you turn over a new leaf? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, John, you've written such great songs as Black Magic, Dream, Blues in the Night, and people all over the world have hummed and whistled your tunes. But, you know, many of them don't know much about you personally. So tonight, we will present a capsule and also a tablet version of your life, Johnny Mercer, entitled... <laughs> this is your past. You all? You were born, Johnny Mercer, in Savannah, Georgia, on your father's tobacco plantation. The first time your father saw you in your crib, he looked down and exclaimed, Hey, forty! So confederate! Which means? I've been looking at babies for now and a forty years. And I've never seen one so round, so firm, so fully packed. <laughs> As a very young man, your genius for rhyme and rhythm soon became apparent. On your first day at school, you looked at the blonde, blue-eyed, and beautiful school teacher, and you said, Teacher, teacher, you are zoot, and I dig you because you're cute. Man, it really would be cool if you kept me after school. <laughs> after being expelled from school, <laughs> you went to work on your grandfather's farm. Now let's go back to those days and show how working on the farm inspired one of your early song hits. Grandpappy, I gotta go out and milk the goats. Oh, do you like goat's milk? No, I hate goat's milk. Nobody in the family likes goat's milk. Well then, Johnny boy, why do you milk the goat? 
The goat don't like milk either. <laughs> and Johnny Mercer's dislike for milking goats caused him to write one of the biggest hits of his career. I'm an old cow hand. <laughs> and so it was quite a pull, Johnny Mercer, before you went to New York to try your luck in Tim Tim. <laughs> The first person you go to see is the famous song publisher, Saul Hartburn. Mr. Hartburn, I have a little song which I think has a chance of becoming a hit. Well, in that case, you come to the right place there, Doc. <laughs> we publish all the hit songs of all the great composers. This year, we published Togi Carmichael's Matzo Dust. Jimmy McHugh's I Can't Give You Anything But Latkes Baby. <laughs> and Irving Boylan's I'm Dreaming of a White Whitefish. <laughs> All right, Mr. Moisha, let me hear your song there, Dawson. Okay, here it is. Pardon my southern accent. Pardon my southern draw. It may sound funny, ah, oh, but honey, I love you all. Oy, what an accent he's got. <laughs> Just a minute, look, it's a good song, but the voids, Mr. Moshe. When you write a song, you should use as few voids as possible. I'll show you what I mean. Sing it again, please. Pardon my southern accent. Look, look, we all know you got a southern accent, so take that out. <laughs> Pardon my southern drawl. If you got a southern accent, you got a southern drawl, too, so take that out also. It may sound funny If a man from Savannah, Georgia Talks to a man from Delancey Street It's gotta sound funny So take it out Ah, oh, but honey In this office, no honey Borscht, yes Lox and bagels, yes Manashevitz, gefilte fish, yes But honey, fui I love you all uh, Wait a minute When a man really loves He loves one, not all Now, Mr. Moshe Sing me the song the way that I fixed it up. Jeepers Creepers. That's it. Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? I told you, Mr. Moisha, I'd help you get a hit song. You're on the way, Johnny Mercer, and hit follows hit. Songs like Lazy Bones, Here Comes the British, Weekend of a Private Secretary, and the angels sing, Come Rain or Come Shine, Black Magic, and many, many others. They're proud of you back there in Savannah, Georgia. Yes, Johnny Mercer, in that peaceful southern city, your name is being drawled on everyone's lips. But success hasn't changed you. You're still the same sweet, unspoiled Johnny Mercer you always were. Then Hollywood beckons. Hollywood, the land of glamour, the land of romance, the land of such motion pictures as Betty Grable and Three for the Show, and Richard Bothamus and Tollable David. Ah, Hollywood. Now, what do you think happens next, Johnny Mercer? I don't know. I haven't had a line for so long, I sort of lost interest. <laughs> You're on your way to Hollywood on the Super Chief, and on the train comes the inspiration for still another great Mercer composition. That's right. I was riding in the club car when suddenly I heard clickety-clack, 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 you mean the rhythm of the wheels on the track? No, the crap came in the baggage car. <laughs> well, then, what did inspire this musical gem that has become famous the world over? Well, I heard that whistle down the line. Yes? I reckoned it was engine number 49. Yes? It's the only one that sounds that way. On the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. Well, no. This time the train happened to be the Baltimore and Ohio. <laughs> the B and O. Oh, uh, what great piece of music did you write about the B and O? Listen. <laughs> now as your past has relived, Johnny Mercer, some more surprises are in store for you. We have flown your grandpappy all the way from the deep south on, you should pardon the expression, North American Airlines <laughs> to share with you this hour of personal triumph. And here he is, Beauregard Ravenel Robert E. Mercer. <laughs> Well, shut my mouth, hush my puppies, corn my pone, and humming my grits. If it ain't my old grandson, Johnny boy. How you be, Grandpappy? Oh, just fine, Johnny boy. For the last 30 years, I've been thinking about you back home while I've been sitting in my old rocking chair. 
and just a sitting and a rocking. But, Grandpappy, you don't have an old rocking chair. I don't. Well, no wonder my poor old knees are so stiff. <laughs> And now, Johnny, why don't you go over to that sofa and join your friends who have gathered here to honor you? All right, I will. Hiya, Mr. Hartburn. Jeepers creepers. How are you, Johnny? How are you, Grandpappy? Stiff as a billy goat, Johnny boy. (laughs) And to bring Johnny Mercer's great story up to date, here he is singing his latest composition written for MGM Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Lonesome Polecat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you now, the beautiful and talented metro golden Mayor dancing star, Miss Vera Ellen. Thank you, Dennis. Well, Vera, I mean, Ellen, I mean, say I'm a little confused. You have two first names. Oh, oh no, Dennis. My name is Vera Dash Ellen. I don't blame anyone for making a dash after Vera. <laughs> Listen, Dennis, before we go any further, I think I should tell you something of vital importance. Well, what is it, Vera? Ellen? Uh, what is it? Vera Ellen appears by arrangement with Metro Dash Goldwyn Dash Mayer, whose newest production in Cinemascope Color is Jupiter's Darling, starring Esther Williams, Howard Keel, and Marge and Gower Champion. We're a little late, folks. Good night. <laughs> Say, isn't that the movie that has all those colored elephants in it? Yes. There's a yellow elephant, Mm -hmm. a pink elephant, a blue one, a green one, and a red one. You know, I remember one scene where the elephants were all herded together. How is it that the color of one elephant didn't rub off on the other? Oh, I thought you knew, Dennis. They were Hazel Bishop, non-smear elephants. (laughs) Well, enough about Sabu's Nash Rambler. Let's talk about your dancing talents. (laughs) How did you get started as a dancer? Like every other dancer, I guess. I took lessons. I'll bet you had a very fine teacher. 
Well, uh, uh, not at first. <laughs> Let me tell you about my experience with my very first dancing teacher. Okay. <laughs> Miss Vera Ellen, you are in the presence of the foremost dancing master, Pierre Fadeder Entrechamps, to jeter dinner's day. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, I've come here to learn dancing. Certainement. Put your arms around me and pay strict attention, because from this, I make my living. All right, maestro. Hold me tighter. Ooh, tighter. Ooh, tighter. Tighter than that, even. Uh, do you call this dancing? No, but it sure is living. <laughs> well, uh, maestro, let's get started with the lesson. Oui, huh? oui, oui. Now the old dancing master will show you a very basic and simple step. Watch me closely. First, I extend the right arm. Next, I extend the left arm. Then I lift up my right leg. Now I lift up my left. Hey. <laughs> Tanner, the old dancing master hasn't been able to master that one yet. <laughs> but, mademoiselle, I'll call you as soon as I do. Au revoir. Well, you see, Dennis, my first experience with dancing was quite unusual. Oh, to say the least, but you know, you've come a long way since then. Tell me, what are your future picture plans? Well, MGM has scheduled another musical for me, of course. Oh, sure. There'll be plenty of dancing in it and lots of songs. Did somebody say songs? Why, Johnny Mercer, what are you doing here? As long as you need some songs for your next picture, Vera, I thought maybe I could make a bid for the assignment. Yeah, you know, Johnny and I are working together now, and we're on a very unusual assignment right at this moment. Oh, really? That's right. Dennis and I are engaged in a musical project that will make the teenagers appreciate literature more. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Well, come on, tell me more. Well, here's the idea. We think that the high school kids might get more interested in the great works of literature if somebody wrote some songs about them. Sure, if pictures and plays have theme songs, why can't books? Johnny, uh, sing that first one we wrote. You know, the one based on that bestseller, The Power of Positive Thinking. Okay. The power of positive thinking. There's power in positive thoughts. If your wife wants a mink, you can tell her to think, and you'll think her into thinking it was bought. <laughs> Say, that makes a lot of sense, I think. Hmm. Uh, well, do you have any others? We certainly do. Dennis, sing her the one about the tale of two cities. Okay. A tale of two cities, their woes and their pities. Is a tale that brings tears to your eyes every time. To cities of weepers with sad red rim peepers. When they smudge in Azusa, they're smog in Anaheim. Well, you're certainly giving Charles the Dickens. <laughs> well, what a. <laughs> What other uh, bookworm bop have you cooked up? Well, we've got a little mambo based on the book called Flying Saucers. Here it goes. <laughs> Flying saucers come from Jupiter. That's the story scientists prefer. But there's flying saucers every night when the couple next door start to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that one ought to make everybody up on Mars go, mm, too. <laughs> well, that's a very admirable project, fellas. But when I think of Johnny Mercer, I think of such songs as Accentuate the Positive or his Oscar-winning song In the Cool, Cool, Cool of the Evening and the haunting one, Laura. And when I think of Dennis Day, I think of beautifully sung ballads. my window at the moon in its flight my thoughts are straight to you in the still of a night while the world is in slumber the 
times without number, darling, when I Vera Allen and Johnny Mercer. Well, I guess that's it for tonight. And don't forget to tune in next week when our guests will be Mr. Jose Ferrer and Mrs. Jose Ferrer, Rosemary Clooney. Join us then, won't you? This is Vera, MGM for Metro Goldwyn Mayor, Ellen. And Johnny, AT and SF, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, Mercer. <laughs> and Dennis, Day saying. Every song that I sing, I'll sing. I hope I can bring you a smile or two. So long, everyone, and God bless you. Dennis Day Show is written by Irving Taylor and Alan Wood, produced and directed by Fred Levy. This is Jimmy Wallington speaking, inviting you to join us next week for the Dennis Day Show. Good night. United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.